Hello, friends and enemies. Welcome to, we're back to, happy for now, it's me, Isabel here, and uh, I got a manga wrap-up for you. A manga log and a haul. Boy, do I have a haul. Listen, March, surprisingly productive month, considering we were leading up to 30 and 30 this month. So I'm happy about that. I read a lot, and I read some new series that I'm really excited to continue. So let's dive right into those stats immediately, because that's why you're here. You want to hear about what I read, I'm sure. So I read a total of 17 manga volumes in March for 3,051 pages, which is fantastic. I'm so happy about that. Genre-wise, I read five shoujos, two shonens, one seinen, one jose, or no, <laughs> four jose, and one manhwa. I am going to just kind of run through the volumes. We're not going to talk extensively about them because all of them are in my volume one vlog, I believe, just about. At least the ones that are in there, I will not be extensively talking about. And this is just gonna go in the order I read them because that's the easiest way in my brain. So first up, I read Confessions of a 35 year old. This was okay. I got an arc of this on NetGalley. Didn't really love it, don't really recommend it. It just was fine. Then I read How to Grill Our Love, volume one. This is in the volume one vlog. Really cute, really enjoyable, digital only option. It is an older, not older, but like they get married basically and are like navigating that even though they weren't like necessarily in love when they got married. So I just think that was really interesting. Then I read Gazing at the Star Next Door volume one. I also had an arc of this. This was fine. I didn't love it. Again, same thing. I kind of am like I would maybe, maybe I would read volume two in the bookstore to decide if I wanted to continue or not, but I for sure am not like anxious to like pick up more and continue the story. I didn't love how much the main character read like his mom slash like being a mom to him. Then I read Love That's an Understatement volume one and I really enjoyed this. I thought this was a really great digital only option. I do believe it's only digital. I might be wrong but this was really cute. I did enjoy this one and I think this one for me is one that I'm the most of like this bunch. I'm definitely interested in picking up more of this series. I, this follows a girl who's going to cram school and a local bad boy, which was just one of my favorite combos. She's kind of a nerd, kind of like keeps to herself type, and he is a bad boy. So like, that's just always so fun. Then I read My Cute Little Kitten, Volume 2. So this came out and I finally read it. I really enjoyed Volume 2. I think this continued their story really nicely and it made a lot of sense. I'm excited to see what else we get in this series. It's just a fun, fun little Yuri manga to read. Then I read The Dangerous Convenience Store, Volume 1. This is the manhwa I read. I really liked this. I cannot wait to pick up Volume 2. I told myself if I clear... If I can clear most of a one of my TBR shelves, I'm gonna go treat myself to a couple more volumes of manga because I bought quite a bit this month because of that closing Barnes and Nobles I visited. Um, then I read I Can't Refuse S Volume One and Two. I don't I don't have them because they're on loan to Heather, but I really enjoyed this. I really liked Volume One. It left me intrigued. She goes off to learn to, uh, how to be intimate with a man and like be a mistress basically and this butler is going to teach her. It's just kind of a fun time. I enjoy this kind of story. So I read volume one and then I immediately read volume two, had a blast with it, and I'm really excited to read volume three when that comes out. I also read Revenge Mrs. Wrong, which I am intrigued about. I definitely am, this is like a hesitant one because I didn't love Game Between the Suits, which I think has similar vibes to this, but I think Revenge is even more twisty and dark and it seems to have the things I love. So I'm like fingers crossed holding out that this like goes down a path I absolutely love, but this is about two twin sisters. One of them wants to assume her twin's life and marry her fiance after taking her place on a date with him and wedding planning. And the twin sister basically likes to date a guy and also like date multiple guys at once and will take advantage of her twin to like show up as her and I just I think that's a really interesting twist and obviously the twin when this when like kind of the world changes on her where that the the meek twin wants to be her is like very interesting to me then I also read the young master's revenge volume one this was fine it's like a three and a half I'm gonna read the next three volumes because I have them Shay let me borrow them from her um when she visited so I pulled those out of her like trade stack and I'm gonna read them and then I'll trade them in then I read After We Gazed at the Starry Sky Volume 1, another favorite that I'm pumped for Volume 2. I cannot wait for that to come out. I really, really enjoyed this one immensely. Next, I read Ramen, Wolf, and Curry Tiger Volume 2 at the bookstore. I was debating if I wanted to buy it for 50% off, and honestly, I didn't enjoy it enough to want to pick it up. I like this story, but I don't know that I like it enough that I want to own it on my shelves. So for me, I'm just kind of okay holding out for now on it. 
Next, I read Like a Butterfly Volume 1. Also loved this. This has been the same manga cut as Shortcake Cake and A Sign of Affection. So it's unsurprising that I liked it as much as I did, but I'm definitely excited to see where it goes. And it is in the Viz app, so I'll be reading it there digitally. Uh, next, I read I Married My Female Friend Volume 1. Fantastic. Same manga cut as Donuts Under a Crescent Moon, which I loved. And I do feel like this one is looking towards being another favorite. This follows two friends who make a deal that in five years, if they're not married, they're both going to get married to each other. And lo and behold, of course, that's what happens. Then I read Bride of the Barrier Master Volume 1. Really liked this. I think this is a great volume one. I had so much fun reading this. I'm really, really curious to see how this plays out long term. In the story, I have not read the light novel yet, but I do want to read the light novel sooner than later. And I am very curious. So this does follow a girl who's hiding her abilities, one of my favorite things, and a guy who has to get married to protect this thing his family has to protect. And basically he has to marry somebody else, a power like for a yin and yang situation she is like very much trying to like hide what she the how strong she is and at the same time um he realizes it like he quickly figures out that she's figures out about her strengths and is like no you're the one I want to marry not your sister and everyone's like why does he want to marry her she has no powers and she's pissed because she just wants to graduate and go live a normal life and pretend she's not anything magical which I really enjoy I think that's such a fun setup and I read delinquent daddy and tender teacher which follows two former high school friends one of which had a crush on the other and the the delinquent is now a dad um his partner or the mother of his child passed and he just was handed this kid and has no idea what he's doing so the teacher decides to help him and it's really really sweet and precious and then last but not least i read a man and his cat volume one i've got to order volume two still but i am really really excited to continue this series this is a great slice of life cat story i have through like I, ha I have through volume eight physically. I just need volume two now. So I'm really, really excited to see how I like it as I continue. I know I'm gonna love it. The art's great. It's kind of just in a nice refresher in the middle of my other reads because it's just kind of different. But yeah, I loved it. Anyways, if you want more detailed thoughts on those volume ones, that vlog is there for you. Everything's time stamped. Have at. All right, let's talk about the hall. So yeah, I visited the Northern Nashville Barnes and Noble that's closing in Hendersonville. Um, I got there and their books were 50% off. Well, 40 and then you get your 10% on top. So I was basically getting 50-ish 50 50 -ish off. So I bought a lot. <laughs> I did buy a lot. Um, I think I think I have everything that I bought here in this stack. I may be missing things. I did a TikTok where I did a full haul. Um, I'll link to it if you want to see that. But I feel like I got it all. I thought I did a good job writing everything down. But now I'm like looking at it. I'm like, did I actually get did I get more than this? It's fine. I'm usually better at tracking. But anyways, when I looked at my like lib bib and stuff too, it seems to line up. Oh no. Okay. So first up, first up for this haul, mint chocolate volume 10. I did buy on sale. It is downstairs. I have like my full stack of mint chocolates to read. I'm hoping to get caught up on that like early on in 30 and 30. So I've already, I've already like got it piled up. So I did forget to grab that. I also bought or slash got my pre-orders in. So <laughs> two more that we have here that were not at the bar and sale is Emokoi volume nine. I forgot this was coming out. I feel like such a bad fan, but um, yeah, I picked it up. Final volume. I'm so happy. I've already read it for 30 and 30. So there's your spoiler. <laughs> and then I also have Yakuza Lover volume 12. So our final volume. I have... 8 through 12 to read now so you're gonna get a little mini vlog at some point where I read all of these but I'm really excited for more Yakuza Lover. Okay so on to all the things I got on sale. <laughs> First up I did get the rest of I think our son is gay so I got volume that is not the right volume I grabbed one not three hold on okay sorry so I did get the rest of I think our son is gay so that's three volumes so I got volume three four and volume five which I love this cover this cover is so fun. I don't know. It just, it made me giggle. Like, I'm, I'm really excited to read this series. Next up, we have another one I'm really pumped to pick up, and that is Me and My Beast Boss. I got volume one and two. These are supposed to be really fun. I know Shay loved them, so I'm really curious to see what I think. Next, a series that I was wanting to read, but I, like, was hesitant because of the price. I, these are really small for $12.99, but half off. Um, <laughs> I think, or these, I think, are worth it at that price point, which is the girl I, like, forgot her glasses. I got volumes two and three, so I'm officially caught up in owning these. Next, I have Hi, I'm a Witch, and my crush wants me to make a love potion, volume three, which I 
saw something on TikTok haul and I was like, oh my God, I didn't even realize volume three was out. I'm a mess this year, but I'm trying not to, we're trying not to keep too close a track because we're trying to read down what we own, right? So there's that. I also got Tsubaki Cho's Lonely Planet Volume 6. I do need to get five because I only have six and I need five, but that's fine. That's fine. It's still half off. Then I got Volume 3 of The White Cat's Revenge as plotted from the Dragon King's lap. So I have one, two, and three in this. I might do a try three. Let me know what you guys are thinking. I definitely want to read this and I figured to get Volume 3 on sale. Again, why not? Another one I have the first three volumes of that I need to read. The Invisible Man and His Soon-to-Be Wife Volume 2 and three. I love these covers. They're so fun. God, I'm about to drop things. Anyways, these are really fun to me and I'm really curious to see what I think. I also like that they're in full, or not full color, they're in color. Like, I just think that's really cool. They're like blue centric, monochromed kind of. I don't know. Words are hard. I really like getting that. I also picked up Yakuza Bias Volume 2, which I have not read yet and I'm really excited for. I might reread Volume 1 and then read 2. And it's been a hot minute. And the surprise of a century, another thing I'd forgotten was coming out, A Sign of Affection Volume 7. I found this half off. I was so excited. I cannot wait to read this. This is also high on my early in 30 and 30 priority stack. And then last but not least, two more manhwas. I did get What's Wrong with Secretary Kim Volume 2 and 3 because listen, manuals are expensive in print. So when I can pick these up on sale or during like promos, I do. So yeah, that is everything I bought manga wise in the month of March. I feel like I did pretty good, honestly. I read a good bit and I hauled a good bit, but I didn't overdo it, if that makes sense, I feel like. So if I can get through a good bit in this month, I probably am going to have a little mini shopping spree at the end of April slash early May for myself, we'll see. That's everything I bought, everything I read in March. Let me know what you read and loved in March. And if you don't want to do any of that, you can leave me a sunshine emoji because it just stormed here, but now it is like sunny out again. And we have more storms coming. It's fine. Literally the change between me filming one video and the other, bonkers. But yeah, you can do all that in the comments. I'll have links to all these manga, links to my volume one video if you want to check that out, links to the TikTok where I did like the little shopping. I think there's a, I did it on YouTube shorts too. So if you want to check that out, I'll link all that down below for you. Links to my friend anywhere on the internet that I am and I will talk to y'all in just a few days. Bye. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we want